Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I just received in the mail another box. It is from Deck of Scarlet. So we are going to be doing an unboxing for you. And then I'm also going to talk to you guys and show you this palette. So we're going to open the box here and I haven't really like dove into this very much at all. I did do a couple of swatches just when I first received it and when I actually saw the collab that they did with Okayla and I saw that it was a little bit different of a palette, I was actually really excited about it so I decided to not skip this month. This is edition number 14 palette and this is for technically July. This is the collab with Okayla. So opening up the box here we have you know obviously the little foamy thing and then they obviously have the little card that tells you all about this collab and then here is her palette I've always really liked the packaging that Deck of Scarlet offers I think that they're very unique and different I'm, and they're usually in black and white I think all of them have been in black and white like the outer casing so this is the palette and I love the packaging. So like you know your makeup's not gonna break like the foam is awesome. And then it is an all over face gloss. So this looks like a highlighting stick. So let's look at this real quick. Looks like it does roll up a little bit and Deck of Scarlet is cruelty free. So we're just going to put a little bit of this on here. You can kind of see like the glossy texture. It's not really like a highlighter. It's more of like a dewy look. So it's called Siren of the Sea. So here are the powder products. And then here are the lip products. So it looks like there is one called Seashell and there's one called Abyss. And this is like a really, really dark blue color. I'm kind of interested in that one. Don't know if I'm gonna use that today. The seashell one we may use. So here is the palette. We're gonna swatch solar. This is like the bronze color. There it is on my finger. And here we go with the swatch. That's not bad. That's actually pretty pigmented. This would be like a bronzer. And they do say that their face palettes are all in one. And then we have Sea Glow. This is like the highlighter. It's a silvery color. Ooh. It is kind of like lots of kind of fallouty, like on the swatch, like chunky. That's the word. That is the word I want to use. It's chunky when I swatched it. Um, but I mean, it's not terrible. So I'm hoping that it's not chunky when you actually use a brush. It may just be the swatch. Then we have Siren. This is like a blue color. And I just wiped off my finger. So we're going in with Siren. And again, that one's. A little bit chunky, woo, pretty chunky in the swatch, but it's a really pretty color. And then we have Atlantis. This one looks kind of like a deeper blue, almost gray in some lights. Ooh, that one's really pretty too. So it's like a gray blue. And then Sandcastle is a matte color, and this one is a skin tone color. I don't even know if it's gonna show up on my skin. We'll find out. I mean, it kind of did. Um, again, there's a little bit of patchiness going on, a little bit of like dandruff, <laughs> um, but it is swatching pretty well and usually these aren't as creamy. Um, the Destination Desert palette was super creamy and I did like that palette and this one is also swatching super creamy. So I'm super excited to use this palette and show you guys the capabilities of it today. Should we swatch the lip stuff? Yes, we're gonna swatch the lip stuff because I'm super interested in it. We're just gonna do it on the back of my hand here. Seashell, which is like a champagne color. And then we have this one down here. It's called Abyss. And this one's like a navy blue. So we're going to just dip my finger in a little bit. This is Abyss, look how dark that is. And we're gonna put it on my hand, very dark. And it's not super, like, this is translucent. It's not super opaque, so that will be interesting. I wonder how it's going to layer. Usually these colors are a little bit more of a lipstick, liquid lip. So seashell is like super light, you can barely tell it's there. As you guys might have guessed, 
I have nothing on my face. So I am going to include a foundation tutorial that will be up on my channel. It's in correlation with this video and go check that video out and I will get back to you in just a minute with a foundation faced face. Alrighty guys, so we have my face done. It is set. Go check out the video on that summer foundation tutorial to get kind of like a glowy, summery foundation look. And then we are going to be using the Deco Scarlet palette for the rest of this look. We're going to be using the bronzer and the highlighter in here. And I don't have a blush, so I should probably grab a blush, but we'll do that in a second. Um, after we apply the bronzer right here, it's called Solar. And we're going to use the Sonia Kashuk brush. This is the duo contouring brush. And I'm, whoa, there's a lot of kickback in that pan. Holy cow, can you guys see that? Lots of, lots of kickback in that pan. So we're going to tap that off as much as possible. I've actually never had kickback like that in a deck of Scarlet pan. So maybe that means that they're a little bit more... I don't know. Profusion is like this and they end up being like really pigmented, but they make a mess. So I'm hoping this one doesn't make a mess. And then we're just going to stipple this to bronze. I forgot to grab a blush, so I did just grab one from my stuff back here. Going on to the highlighter in this palette. It is called Sea Glow, and this is like a silver color. This is a highlighting brush. It's the F19 brush from the AOA Studio. I got this when I did my Shop Miss A haul. I do suggest you go check that one out as well. And we're just going to glow up my face. Mmm. It's subtle. I wonder if it's buildable. Let's find out. It is buildable. That's pretty putting on a couple layers there and all of a sudden it's like bam there you go like all the other palettes are always like let's do a golden tone let's do a pink tone I've never seen a silver tone but I've seen a purple tone but I've never seen a silver tone mm. yeah that's super pretty hello so I'm gonna set my face again with the Catrice Dewey setting spray mm. Just because I like to do that in between powder settings. And then we're going to do my eyes right here. So I'm going to zoom you in. So let's dip into... Let's dip into this little beauty right here. We're going to prime my eyelashes really quick. Eyelashes. <laughs> I meant, you know, eyelids, not eyelashes. We're not priming my eyelashes. I have a secret for priming my eyelashes. Comment below if you guys want to hear about my secret for priming my eyelashes because it's pretty interesting and it's unconventional and it doesn't include an eyelash primer. Alrighty, and then we're going into the Deco Scarlet eyes right here. We're going to first set my eye with Sandcastle, which is this one right here, and I'm just using an overall blending brush. This is just going to set my eyes, and I'm kind of patting this on because my eyes are still super tacky from the Potion Primer from Urban Decay. I also really like that she included that bronzer as more of a, like you can use it as a transition color. So they're kind of living up to more of their name where it's like an all-in-one palette. That is, you know, they're advertising, they're marketing. And I actually commented on one of their videos and I was like, you guys can't say it's an all-in-one palette. There was a... I don't even remember what her name was, um, Christina X Makeup. I was like, you can't consider this an all-in-one palette if she's using an eyeshadow from outside of the palette, guys. And they were like, oh my god, and I was like, you can get in so much trouble for that. So we're using Solar with the Wet n Wild Crease Brush. This is my transition color. Kind of taking this up above my crease here just so that it can transition well. What do we want to do next? So we're going to take Siren, which is this color right here. This is like a mix between a teal and a blue. In some light it looks blue, in some light it looks teal. Let's see, this is an all over chateau brush. Just tapping this in, tap, 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 tap a room. Happy Gilmore. And we're putting this all, ooh, all over my lid. Look how pretty that is. Me likey. 
So it's like metallic-y, partially blue, but partially teal, which I'm a huge teal person. Ooh, I really like this color. That's pretty. You don't see this color a lot either. Like it's not one of those colors that you find a lot. So we're just like tapping this on and then we will blend after I'm done. We're not going above the crease at all. We're just kind of working it into that brown color here. Ooh, that's so pretty. Super impressed already. Deck of Scarlet, you stepped up your game. So we're just tapping off the excess and cleaning it off over here really quick. And we're gonna use the same brush. We're gonna use Atlantis, which now that I look at it, it kind of has purple in it too, guys. Like, what's going on here? It looks blue in some light, it looks gray, and it looks purple. So I guess that's why it's called, what was it called? Something about C? I don't know. I lost my paper. But yeah, now it looks purple in certain light. Ooh, that's so pretty. Where are we gonna put this? Hmm. I kind of want to put it here. I'm going to deepen the outer corner with Atlantis. I don't feel like it's doing much. I mean, it's adding a little bit of a blue undertone to it. That's pretty. Getting a little bit of fallout from this one. And yes guys, I'm taking it all the way up to the eyebrow right here. Because I kind of want to see what it looks like. That's really pretty. So tap, tap, tap. tap a -roo. Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore. So we're doing kind of like a diagonal line, just kind of giving this a different type of look. Ooh, that's so pretty though. And my brush is not wet, and now it is, I see it now. It's, it was kind of meshing into the other color, but now it is more of like a grayish, purplish, bluish color. And dang, that's so pretty. Like I said, we're taking this in a diagonal line kind of up to the end of my eyebrow here. Ooh, that's so pretty. Tap, tap, tap a rooing. We're happy, happy Gilmoring. That's gonna be my coin phrase. We're happy Gilmoring. Ooh, that is super pretty. So definitely can't layer the two, but mmm, me likey, me likey, me likey, me likey. And I might keep that intensity. Like I might not blend it, cause that looks really cool. It's different. I like this palette. These are these colors speak to me so well because this is like me. Basically just use my finger here and we're gonna pat this right in the middle to give it a little bit more of a silver shine to it. Ooh, I like it. I kind of feel galactic. Yeah. Beam me up, Scotty. And it kind of like I don't know, like, oh man, I really like this. That is so pretty. I don't think I have ever liked a Deck of Scarlet palette more. Like even the Destination Desert palette I didn't like as much as this one. Oh my, like this speaks to me. Girl, you, oh Kayla, you did it. Like, oh my gosh, you are leaving me beyond words. Like, ah, I really wish that they would have built an entire palette with her like they did with Steph, like, like, like what they did with the Destination Desert palette. Like I can only imagine what this girl would have come up with. And you guys, this formula has changed. I feel like it has because my other ones are not this pigmented, like ever. They've never been this pigmented. And I'm like, mmm, I mean, like -y. Oh, Jesus, that just like intensifies it. So we're using that same brush and we're just like tap, 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 or ruining. We're happy Gilmoring. Oh, look how pretty, pretty, pretty. And we are going to just blend this part right here. Just get it, you know, blending a little bit. <laughs> I'm feeling me some winged eyeliner, guys. Stacy doesn't do winged eyeliner. But <laughs> we are going to do lips. We're going to take Abyss. Abyss? Abyss. We're taking this blue color because I feel like Martian-y. Okay, so it is picking up the dry patches on my lips. Yes, it's summer. I still have dry lips. Can you say I like air conditioning? Yeah. 
So this is like not opaque by any means. Don't, I mean, it's pretty, but it's like, I'm having a hard time kind of getting that blue pigment to be like bright and poppy. Like my, like you can see the pink still on my lips. So let's just use the rest of what's on this brush real quick. Smallest lips on the planet. And then I'm gonna take my finger and we're gonna use seashell, which is that champagne color. We're gonna pop it all over. I'm gonna use Sea Glow. This highlighter right here, we're gonna dip in with it. Whoa. It is so cool. Mmm. So it's like a new trend that's going on to put like an eyeshadow or a powder on your lips and it sets your lips. It looks super pretty. We're just gonna do an under eye really quick with Siren. And last but not least, we have Ever So Faithful Lash Princess Volume False Effect. It's a False Effect Mascara. I never wear fake eyelashes though. This would be pretty banging with fake eyelashes. So maybe I should learn how to do that. Okay guys. Wow, Deck of Scarlet, this is a personal message to you. So, if you guys haven't seen my Deck of Scarlet unsubscription video, I do suggest you guys go check that out. Um, to say that I am impressed is the biggest understatement of the century. I am very impressed. Um, not only is this palette pigmented, I love the color story. It is not like anything else that I have seen featured from any other collab that you guys have done with a YouTuber. So. And I have seen, like in my unsubscription video that I posted about a year ago, I said the reason why I unsubscribed from Deck of Scarlet originally was because all the palettes started looking the same. I was getting sick and tired of people just not monitoring the palettes, looking at the collabs with all the people and being like, look, like the same color story was used in a palette that was done two palettes ago or three palettes ago. And they did have one that was just released um, two months ago that looked like one from like the year before and that's why I didn't get it. And I was like, guys, like that's, that's crazy. But this one I'm super impressed with. I'm impressed with the quality. It is like the Destination Desert palette. That one, if you guys have seen that video, if you have not, I will link it or I will put it in the description box below because it depends on how many cards I have up here for you guys. We only get five. And the Destination Desert one was super creamy, super pigmented. It swatched well, it applied well. I've used it several times since then. I was very impressed with that one. The formula in that one, you can tell that you guys upped your formula because it continued into this one as well. And I am very, very pleased with this palette. guys. Subscribe to Deck of Scarlet. It looks like their formula has changed. Like I'm super, super impressed. Hopefully they keep up their game and they don't have another collab in two months that looks the same as one that happened a couple of months ago. Um, that's the only downside to this palette is that that blue lip color is not completely opaque. It took me a couple times to build it up. I do like the seashell color. If I wanted to do something a little less, I guess, beam me up Scottied then I would probably use this one in a more natural one. The only other thing that I have to say about their palettes in general, I absolutely hate the fact that the lip pan is a pan. Um, I really wish that these were bullets instead of a pan. That way I can do my makeup and I can take the bullet with me when I'm out and about because usually your powder products last a hell of a lot longer than your lip products because you're drinking, you're eating, you're talking, you know, you're chewing gum. I mean, basically just normal wear and tear on your lipstick products. So I do like this palette. This, this holds true to your marketing. I mean, all in one, everything on my face besides the blush, I mean, that it didn't come with blush, so I guess you can't really say that. But the bronzer is really pretty, the highlight is stunning. The lip products are really pretty, and I really, really like the eyeshadow colors that were chosen. The only thing that I really didn't touch on was the, the glowy stick. Glowy stick. All over face gloss, so I don't really know. This is like 
if I wanted something really, really dewy. I don't even know if I want to put it on right now, so I will try this later on. I don't even know, maybe I would apply that first and then put the highlight on to kind of like intensify the highlight. That's probably what I would do. So other than that, super impressed. Thank you guys for staying tuned and I hope you guys really like this video. Go check out the other ones that I mentioned. They will be in the description box below and I will see you later. Bye.